Hello and welcome to another out of spec testing video. Today I have the standard range rear wheel drive Model Y. We're going to do a 10% challenge and for those who don't know that is basically simulating a road trip where we start from 10% which is where we generally think people should get to chargers with and then we go from 10% and we charge for 15 minutes and whatever we have at 15 minutes, we drive at 80 miles an hour and see how far can you go in a 15 minute charge, which is a repeated cycle that you would get on a road trip, which is more representative of what you do on a road trip than you're just one leg of range. So this car has EPA rated 321 miles of range. We have a 6.8 zero to 60, the car is supposed to have a gross 69.5 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, and then the procedures here, I will take you inside and show you. So right now I have already done the tire pressures cold at 42 PSI. This car does not have tire pressure monitoring systems, but we use our same FinTech um, inflators that have the same sensors so that every car gets the same pressure. This is rated at 42 PSI front and rear. Right now I am waiting on the car to get to 10%. We're at 11 and I'm blasting the heater to pull the car down to 10. And our testing procedure is when the car drops to 10% from 11% to 10% is when we plug it in, turn the um, climate to a normal 72 degrees and get the cabin to a regular temperature and then we start the timer for 15 minutes and at 15 minutes we unplug it take it on the highway at 80 miles an hour and then we will see what we can get we just clicked over to 10 percent i turned the climate off to be sure we don't continue to drain 10 percent our battery is nice and warm ready to receive fast charging i'm gonna start my stopwatch to do 15 minutes and we will see what we get okay just got it plugged in i'm gonna wait till this light goes green to confirm we are actually charging all right timer started as soon as it turned green let's take a look at what we've got so these cars are very efficient. The Model 3 standard, the Model Y standard tend to be very efficient cars. So I expect we're gonna do pretty well even with a limited battery size or limited charging speeds just because of their great efficiencies at highway speeds. Right up to about 200 kilowatts. Uh, did a charging test on the same battery platform earlier today. Saw, what, 216 or well over 200. So we will see how this goes and I'll keep you guys documented in. Okay, while we're charging, we're at about 12 and a half minutes still to go. Um, I'm gonna go over a few things. So I'm gonna do GPS verification of the speed at 80 miles an hour. Uh, we'll reset the trip meter right when I'm taking off so that we know exactly how far we've gone. And like I mentioned before, we did the tire pressures set to 42, which is manufactured at cold and should be good, should be fun. Okay, we have about seven minutes to go and we are currently, to me, it feels like dipping pretty hard, not terrible, but pretty typical. We got over 200 kilowatts and now we are really falling down at 39%, 122 kilowatts and probably just gonna keep tapering pretty hard from there. Still going along pretty well two minutes and 30 seconds left 91 kilowatts at 50 percent just tesla's typical old slow ramp down curve also wanted to address very quickly this is where we're at in halifax at the version 4 supercharger this is the windy app to kind of show you how much wind we have we have a little crosswind but it's very very low down here so it shouldn't be too big of a deal for our 10 percent challenge well, here we are at a beautiful sunset and 25 seconds left and we are going to stop charging and get on the road. All right, let's stop that thing. There we go. Perfect. 
right at 15 minutes on the dot. Charging port closed. I'm gonna get some stuff set up, reset the trip, and we're gonna be good to go. We got up to 56% from 10% in 15 minutes. Not really the best, but because of Tesla's efficiency, this might still be a solid number, but it is about 50 degrees outside, low wind, pretty clear out, pretty nice. Should be a good drive. All right, we're heading out. Got up to 56%. I'm going to verify the speed when I get on the highway that 80 is truly 80 miles an hour. Now, typically in these tests, uh, 100 miles is considered really solid for a good road tripping car. I don't know that we'll quite get that or not. Um, it really depends on our efficiency today with this. I'll be very curious to see. Doing a gradual acceleration so that we don't burn off too much energy as heat and we just stay efficient, give the car the best chance it can coming up to 80 miles an hour. Okay, it looks like 80 miles an hour GPS is 80 on the Model Y. We're just gonna steady state cruise and I'll keep you up to date on how things are going. We are now at 50% state of charge and we have done 11.2 miles at 329 watt hours per mile, which is not terrible being, many, being that we just got on the road and things are just getting warmed up and moving. Might be a pretty decent result. I gotta say, the Model Y has truly got, let me fix the light situation here, there we go. The Model Y has truly gotten a lot more refined over the years. Uh, I drove in Colorado in 2022, a 2022 Model Y dual motor, and it really did have a lot more bumpy in the rear suspension and was a lot more boomy from the back. You had a lot more just little build quality things that I, I think Tesla was known for years ago that even though there are several little things about this car at this price range that I don't like. It is a really solid vehicle all the way around. You can't complain. I mean, it is much quieter and much softer in here now. It's much more comparable to other crossovers or SUVs in the class. And I have to say, I'm enjoying it. It's a good vehicle. Now I'm 46% still moving along, 45% now. We've had a little bit of traffic where I've had to slow down a bit. Uh, I drove one or two miles over for 30 or so seconds to try to do the best compensations I can. But overall, being able to maintain speed, not too bad. We are at 23 miles and 296 watt hour per mile, which is pretty dang efficient compared to uh, my ID4 all wheel drive. Welcome back, we are at 36% state of charge, 45 miles driven and 286 watt hours per mile. I am now going to navigate us to the Halifax supercharger and we should be there with about 12%. So we may go by this exit so we can get there or get to the charger right below 10%, but it will be very close to an exact round trip. So I have to say, well, on the surface, the Model Y now really takes out what people think is too much from the car. Like the interior lighting is not very good. They took a lot of the lights out that you would get like ambient light. And there's just not a lot in here when you don't have this dome light on. And they took, you know, the glass roof and everything out. The sound system is still really incredible for this price range. I mean, there's a lot of other cars at this price range that don't come even close to even this base car in terms of sound quality. That's your mids, your clarity, even the low, the bass is really pretty good. Um, it's still pretty impressive to me, the, the package that you get with this car. I mean, on the surface, it seems, oh, maybe it's not the best looking. It's kind of like, well, they took too much out. But when you really spend time with the car, you start to realize it's a great package to, to sit in and actually drive every day. All right, we're coming off our exit at 34%, uh, 50 miles and 287 watt hour per mile. And we are gonna just get off of here and get back on real slowly. And it is estimating a 9% arrival. 
we are looking pretty good for maybe 90 something miles we will see now merging back onto the highway we have about 50 miles to go back and if this is accurate we should be right at around 98 or so miles which would be a really good result let's see if our efficiency holds up on the way back here we are at 30 percent state of charge 58.3 miles 290 watt hour per mile still fairly uneventful but doing pretty well here at 24 percent state of charge 69.4 miles driven and 294 watt hour per mile we are at 19 percent this will be the last check-in and then i'll give you guys the results at the supercharger once we get there 80 miles 297 watt hour per mile okay i decided i am going to update you so we can get the exact number here at 11 percent and you're going to go past 98 miles it looks like let's see exactly what we get all right there's 10 percent we hit 99.2 miles at 296.2 watt hour per mile i will now slow down we got the result that is right at 100 miles all right, welcome back to the Halifax Supercharger in North Carolina. Um, just got done with 10% challenge, did 99.2 miles at what, 296 watt hour per mile. Really a solid result. Like I said, 100 miles is a really good road tripping result for this car. Um, nothing to complain about, very competitive in his class. Uh, typical Tesla, not the best charging curve, but incredible efficiency, just, not many cars can compare at highway at very high highway speeds like that. Um, other than that, it's a great choice. And we'll see you on another out of spec testing video soon. Bye bye. Okay, another 10% challenge done and dusted. Really an incredibly efficient car. As I've stated before, you really can't beat Tesla when it comes to their efficiency, and especially on these entry level cars do an incredible, incredible result. Um, we haven't fully built out our North Carolina run of tests. That's what I'm going to be starting to work out on some more and run plenty more cars and get more data that is more comparable on the same roads in the same regions of the world. But, you know, so far what we can see is between something high and inexpensive that generally is going to get better charging, better range, like a Lucid Air Sapphire and a Volkswagen ID Buzz. Right in the middle of those two, you've kind of got super inefficient box and high end performance vehicle. Still puts in a very solid number. 100 miles being a very good road tripping number. Anything between 75 and 100 is pretty solid. Right around 100 is really good. And then, of course, a lot of cars above that are much more expensive or have really good charging and typically are high-end cars. Um, but yeah, we're going to start building these. Um, instead of just using spreadsheets like this, we are once we get more data and we're starting to work on getting the website built out to where we will put this in more interesting uh, graphs and stuff like that that we can look at more closely. And you can compare this data. So down the road, we'll be able to come back and look at this data and compare it to newer vehicles being tested and really see where this falls with a bigger pool of data. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys again soon on another out of spec testing video.